Every hour of every day, 40 women die from causes related to childbirth. 35 of these deaths occur in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. At least 80% of these are preventable. Simple access to quality healthcare will prevent most of these deaths. But millions of women in Africa and Asia lack access to any healthcare. In order to build access in Africa and Asia, we need more than healthcare clinics. We need to build demand for quality health services. What if the way to transform how the world's poorest women give birth was a voucher? When businesses want to build demand for a product, they issue coupons. Right now, vouchers are being tested for their ability to build demand for quality reproductive health services using the same idea. Public clinics and government-provided healthcare have not boosted demand among those most in need. The poorest areas can be the last to get clinics. And even when the poor can get to a clinic, they may not be treated with respect. The private sector can create demand among the poor because it has no incentive to provide coverage at a loss. Traditionally, public money has been used to build clinics and hire doctors. This approach has increased supply, but the demand for services has lagged. In Kenya, for example, despite big investment in health infrastructure, the same number of women die in childbirth now as did eight years ago. Why? One big reason is that 76% of Kenya's poorest women still don't give birth in health facilities. Vouchers hold the promise of building demand among the people who need the most help and generating revenue for health clinics. This can improve the overall funding of the health system so the program can improve the quality of care for everyone. Reproductive health vouchers are distributed by trusted members of the community. Their goal is to increase demand for reproductive health services. For example, by helping expectant mothers understand the benefits of a facility delivery and postpartum family planning. The voucher entitles an expectant mother to a full package of quality maternity services, including a sequence of antenatal visits, delivery in a facility, including treatment of any complications and postnatal services for mother and newborn. This system can directly link health funding to positive health outcomes. For mothers, the vouchers are very inexpensive. Voucher distributors are paid to help grow the system and clinics are paid for the services they provide. The voucher system is showing many promising results. It can increase demand and access to healthcare for poor mothers and babies. For the government and development organizations, the program helps to accelerate the decline in maternal mortality by providing access to health resources to the mothers who need them most. Mothers in the voucher program have their choice of facility. A clinic that attracts voucher clients with quality care can count in a stream of reliable revenue that helps them to improve their facilities. The Reproductive Health Voucher. It's a simple idea, but it's creating demand and just might improve millions of lives.